Hi there, welcome to the new lecture. In this lecture, we will be configuring multiple admin approvals with a demo. That being said, let's navigate to the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. So you can click on Tenant Administration and you have an option here called Multi Admin Approval. So Multi Admin Approval is the option that you're gonna configure within this demo so if you see here there are three different categories are available one would be the received request so at the end of the demo you would be able to see here the received request and in case if you raise any of the request it will come under my request and the final one would be the policies so this is the first one we would be you know, creating as the access policies and we would be assigning to a different groups so let's say you want to apply access policy for only applications let's say you have an application administrator you would be applying that uh, policies to application admin similarly for the scripts to execute maybe that requires an additional approval you would be assigning to a different ad group so that's how you're going to configure this access policies that being said uh, as a first step as per our document we have to create the access policy so let me give you a meaningful name and description here in this case so that we should be able to continue further so I've given here the meaningful uh, name as a multiple admin approvals for scripts so this is going to ex uh, execute only for the scripts and similarly uh, for apps also let's say if i want you to configure only for the apps i would be you know, choosing as the apps and giving the proper name so in this case i'm actually uh, choosing uh, for the scripts and i'm actually targeting to a group if you notice here uh, mam hyphen admin approvals so this is the same group i wanted to configure even for the scripts as well as for the application but in your case you might have a two different groups maybe your admins uh, maybe they are only specific to the scripts or maybe for application editors so you might have to you know consider your based on requirement or for multiple ad groups to be created after that it's a very simple you could you know simply add and that would you know create this application so once it is created you should be able to create one more policy in my case I'm actually this time creating for apps so once I click on new uh, new policy this time I'm giving a meaningful name very similar to the scripts but instead of scripts this time I'm gonna uh, give here as the apps so multiple admin approvals for apps uh, that's a meaningful name and again as I said in your case you might be ending up with a, a different AD account uh, or AD group but in my case I'm actually uh, trying to log in with the or configure with the same group name so I want you know select this click on next create so this is going to create a policy so so for what we have done is we have created two policies one for the scripts and the other one for the uh, apps so let's say if somebody comes up and try to modify an, an application um, he should uh, have to provide the justification so let me navigate to applications like in you know, Windows applications and I wanted to maybe edit uh, Adobe application like you see here I wanted to take it I would like to modify this Adobe reader test uh, I just wanted to take out that test keywords uh, from the name of that application so if you see uh, from your properties I should be able to always edit the package name right and if you see this package also not even assigned and uh, I wanted to edit this like remove that test and click on review and save as I go through it when I come back to review and save at this last step if you notice here there is a new pop-up or a warning message it says that before this resource can be updated it must be approved by another admin as a second level application second level approval is needed uh, before you can you know submit this request you must enter a business justification so this is a box that you need to you know enter a text a proper text so that 
another admin can understand what is this change all about so in my case i would be entering in this case as the just for the demo purpose so uh, simply I can you know give a minimal information but in your case if it is a live demo or live you should be able to enter the change number all of that required business justification in my case I'm entering demo configuration to show that's it now I also have another Intune admin called Maddie so if you see here in this case I logged in here as a paddy at memcos.com now uh, this is a user as actually requested and that's why it is showing as a pending for app roll. now let me log in with another user account in this case so before that you know you should be able to see you know what are the changes we have done so in the past there was a change called um, this is architecture is not changed everything this remains same but it is actually considered as a red color meaning it is treating as a change uh, but in general we haven't done uh, but you know you might be you know finding out if you just go back to the uh, another user you would definitely see what is that difference so that being said let's actually look at uh, the how it is looking in the multi admin approval page so you should be very clearly see here it needs an approval and uh, you know you should be able to see even the justification also here so you should be able to click there to get more information about that justification uh, in a minute I'm going to show you that but if you see here I logged in as a different user called Maddie uh, at this point of time on a different browser in a cognitive mode so that being said let me point to multi admin approval request page and this is where it very clearly shows that hey it needs an approval uh, if you would like to approve it just click on this justification and compare left side and right side and then approve it that's what it's going to say so let's uh, click on the uh, justification here at this point of time so new window I mean within that window there's a new window with the left and right you see here uh, here it's a capital it's a small so whatever the change we have done it has actually treated as a small uh, changes that's why it is showing in a red similarly if, we, if I just you know scroll down I would be you know, able to see even the different uh, like uh, in this case maybe the test uh, was the text that was updated right so if you see here uh, this is a test and here the test is not available that's a major difference um, if you see here the display name had test now I have made at the right side as remote the test information that's what I've done the change so if you want to approve it you simply have to come back here and make it as an approve that's it write that proper justification once again and click on approve so that this request will be processed and in the next minute the application changes will be completed state it would come up and if I quickly refresh it is changed the status to approved so that's a good thing and uh, if I just go back to uh, oops this is not the window and this is the window if I just go back to oops again I go back to multi admin approval the request is approved now so it's a good now if I do one more change for a quick demo with a cancellation or rejection uh, let's take one additional application and try to cancel this when a user request so in this case I would like to take another application called company portal maybe and then go to properties and do small change like from your properties application information I'll simply add here as something like a test and I have to provide the justification that's what it says we have seen very similar this in the previous uh, configuration uh, for Adobe application same thing it's gonna happen it's the same thing even for your scripts also if you try to do any modification it would it would happen the same thing I'm not gonna cover that part but it remains the same thing so you get it here request so let's say uh, it is a demo that's what he has entered as a first admin now let's say uh, if you see here the changes company portal between this so I'm not gonna approve it let's see that's it I've rejected so what would happen is if I do quickly refresh it comes as a rejected and if you are you know quite not sure you know what are those and immediately in the 
this is where it's going to come up as a, a different notification like in a fail you see uh, this is uh, this is what it is coming the request was fail to complete or edit and in case if you are you know looking for more status information very similar to the approval or reset expired all of that uh, we did talk about that in the introduction lecture uh, oops now let me go back to that yeah this is a request like an you know, approved completed rejected cancelled expired all of these status can be found in the this specific status page that being said that being said this is a simple demo for configuring multi admin approvals within microsoft endpoint manager admin center this really helps in order to maintain your change management execute in a proper way and as indeed it is applicable for only applications and scripts but tomorrow it may applicable for your configuration profiles or maybe complaints policies or maybe some other settings also within the intent console thank you for watching this we'll catch you in the next lecture